Hi folks and welcome to another tutorial of Ableton 8 Tutorials.com Today we are going to talk about the minimal techno bass. Um, what is so special about these basses is that they have a lot of groove in them. Uh, a lot of groove, um, some pitch uh, changings going on uh, and also um, sidechain compressing uh, effect on the bass sounds. So. Um, what we're gonna make today is this. Okay, this is uh, just a little example of what we can make with these bass sounds. Um, okay, let's start and uh, don't forget to check our website for more information about music produ production. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna delete everything besides the kick so we can start again. The first thing we need to create is the bass sound. We can create the bass sound on uh, many different uh, techniques and today we are going to uh, oh, use the, the tom technique. Okay, the tom technique um, is actually based on uh, tom sounds from uh, the drums and just check it out uh, let's insert a new drum rack um, here I have a, a very good tom sound loaded up uh, where okay here he is an 808 tom sound let's drag it into our drum rack and of course oh, we need uh, two of them one for the, the lowest part of the bass and one for the, the more pitched uh, parts of the bass. Now, let's create the bass sound. Uh, the first thing we have to do is we have to transpose it uh, downside. So let's try minus 27. Okay, that's pretty low. <laughs> How low can you go? How low? Okay, now uh, play a little bit with uh, with these uh, attack knobs here. The main thing we have to do is we have to make the sound a bit more uh, rounder, uh, less aggressive um, and uh, less clipping. That's the, the main reason we, why we uh, we attack this sound and uh, release also a little bit more. Okay. That should do the trick. Now let's go over to our second tom and do the same, but uh, we're gonna decrease uh, the, the transpose a little bit less. So let's try minus 18. Okay, now attack this also. This one doesn't have much release. Okay. So, let's begin, make a MIDI clip uh, to play the kicks, there we go, <laughs> pretty hard kick, then our bass sound, take a new MIDI clip, uh, this is the high, this is the low, we're gonna start with the high ones, there we go, okay. Okay, that will do the job. Now, paste some low bases randomly. I think this will fit pretty good. All right, uh, <laughs> sounds pretty good to me, folks. Uh, okay, what we're gonna do now is we're going to create the ducking effect on our bass sound, but. First, uh, we're going to add a little bit of EQs. So, add a little bit of 8-band uh, EQ. There he is, my friend. Always my friend. And I'm going to cut the lowest frequencies a little bit up. So, take it to 30 Hz. And 
just do some do do uh, do something like 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 me. Then I'll cut the highest frequencies out. There we go. And sometimes I boost uh, my bass sound around 100 or 150 hertz. Let's take 150 for this example and let's check it out. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now where's my compressor? I want to add a little bit of ducky, ducky, ducky. Um, we call it uh, the ducking effect, the sidechain compressing effect. Uh, it it has other names, but these are the the, the two main main uh, nicknames. There we have our compressor. Now, to make this sidechain happening, we have to click this uh, little arrow and activate the sidechain. Our input source is the the kick drum, this one. And let's play with the threshold. Normally, it has to be uh, somewhere around the middle. Boost up the output a little bit, and set the radio to the ratio to five. Five or more. We'll see. Let's listen. Ooh. Okay. So you hear the you hear the deep sounds going on. That's very nice. Um, we can boost this EQ just a little bit. That's like this. Uh, we still have to hear the, the higher pitched uh, toms. So let's keep it like this. Maybe we can maybe we can uh, put the velocity up a little bit from the, the higher bass. Uh, let's take 10%. Okay. That should do the trick. Now we have our minimal techno bass. We hear the clipping. Yep, yep, I, I hear the clipping, definitely. So what we have to do to reduce clippings. Uh, we can, first of all, uh, set our compressor model to FF1. The next thing we can do is sub so, uh, sustain, uh, reduce the sustain a little bit and add a, add a little bit of release. Our second one looks very good. Okay, the second one a little bit more release, a little, little bit more attack, a little bit more attack. Okay, there we go. Clipping is gone. Okay, uh, so what we learned today, oh, well, uh, we actually just learned the minimal bass sounds. We can also create these bass sounds with operator sounds, with uh, uh, analog sounds. It doesn't make a difference, or sometimes it does, but uh, I really prefer to make uh, basses with tom sounds. So we have two toms loaded up, a low and a high. These two will give us a groove, and the groove is hearable on these two loops. So, thanks for watching, have fun, and don't forget to check our website.